Well, howdy, friends. Ryan Fleshing of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back. We're here in Florida with our dear friend Flip Pallet, and Flip is about to teach me, yes, here on camera, how to shoot a recurve bow? Longbow. Longbow, I'm sorry. Uh, as I told you before we started this, it's been since uh, the sixth grade. I think it was in the Boy Scouts. I was a tenderfoot still. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and still am in a lot of ways. But uh, so, you know, I, I'm game. Uh, Christina has been wanting me to learn how to hunt. Uh, she loves to eat venison, which you actually inspired right over here when you cooked. I think we had back straps one night That's for right. dinner. That's right. And uh, you taught us this really great recipe. Um, and ever since then, Christina has wanted me to be more like Flip and to <laughs> oh, shoot uh, in certain ways <laughs> and, and shoot our own food or kill our own food. So, in fact, she's actually threatened to learn to shoot a bow and what have you. So this video is gonna make her really proud. Well, in and, the uh, next few minutes, you're gonna learn and you'll be able to go right home and kill your own food. Awesome, great, well, let's do this. Sort of. Yeah, <laughs> partially. This is not so different from fly casting. Okay. In that, Hand-eye coordination is it's really doing everything. Okay. When you when you cast a fly to a fish or a spot, you don't aim at that spot. Hand-eye coordination causes you to be able to send the tip of the fly rod and the loop mm -hmm. to the place that you want it to go. And you focus your attention not on the tip of the rod, not on the loop, but on the target. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly the same. You look at the target, you burn your concentration into the smallest part of the target that you can. And you draw the bow back and you sort of point with your left hand and draw back and release. And so what it looks like from the business end would be something like this. If, if I had the arrow on the bowstring and my target was your right eye. Mm -hmm. I draw the arrow back like this and you can see that I'm not aiming. I'm looking at your right eye. Yeah. But look where the arrow is going. Mm -hmm. It's going at your right eye. Yeah. So you're not exactly. aiming down the arrow. You're actually looking at the smallest part of that target that you can focus your concentration on. And when you draw the arrow back, you you knock it under that little green point there. Okay. Put one finger over top of the arrow on the string, two fingers underneath the string. Mm -hmm. So just like that. Let's step right over here. Okay, so you look at the target, just focus your concentration on the target, draw the arrow back and let it go. Wow. Right away, almost right away. You just draw it back and let it go. Don't think about it. Don't think about it, but you have to be looking at the spot where you want the arrow to go. Let me pull that one out of the way. Okay. Right at the target. All right, here's another one. I hit the, I hit the thing, the target. A look at a smaller part of the target. <laughs> That's actually very good. Much better. <laughs> oh, you're a natural at this, I think. Pretty good for your first. That feels kind of cool. So <clears throat> you made you made this thing. Well, yes, I had some help from a friend who knows how to do it, and he talked me through it, and, and uh, it was one of the most fulfilling things that I've ever done. And I've shot animals with it now, and, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's wonderful when you actually kill something 
to, for food mm -hmm. with a bow that you made yourself. Oh, I mean, man, and and uh, it was a wonderful process. I couldn't imagine. And then you said it's Osage orange and sharks. This sharks? is shark skin on the back, and the shark skin once it dries, when you glue it on there, it gives the bow more resiliency. Wow. And do you make, you make your own arrows as well? I don't. Oh, okay. I, I, I would love to be able to have that talent, but I don't. I'd love to be able to have time to make them too. Yeah, right. Okay. Focus, that's everything. That's the whole thing is focus. Wow. Si sign me up. Can we, can we go hunting tonight? We can. Uh, it's America. <laughs> Man, I like that. That's kind of fun. Focus, real focus. Focus real hard. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Flip, you have a YouTube channel. Is it amazing? <laughs> it's That's amazing. You, I'm amazed. You've made it. I'm amazed. Yeah. You can check out Flip's YouTube channel. What kind of stuff you got on there, Flip? Well, I'm trying to mix it up. Um, and I hope that eventually I'll have every single Walker K Chronicle tape on there. We've digitized almost all of them. And so sooner or later, they're all gonna turn up there. There's some other projects that I've done in the past that'll also be resurrected and find their way to that YouTube channel. And I'm hoping that some of the things that we do together yeah will also make their way to that channel. So I hope that you'll check it out. I hope that you'll subscribe to it. And I promise to keep interesting things coming to the best of my ability. <sighs> ah. Can't, came Calm out down. Of, came Calm out down. of knock. Calm down very exactly. slowly. Gently pull it slowly? straight back. Pull it straight back. And, and you don't put your finger up there, no, do you? No. Just Okay. If you want to hurt yourself a lot, you can put your finger up no, there. I'm good. I've done that in the past. <laughs> Eat brownies. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, honestly, if we were hunting for a deer or a hog, supper. Yeah. Supper. Delish. Hashtag delish. Look at this. So there's this very famous archer. His name is Byron Ferguson. Mm -hmm. And he's a wonderful hunter, exhibition shooter. And he shoots a longbow and a recurve. Mm -hmm. And he's very, very famous for actually being able to shoot aspirins out of the air. <laughs> You'll get someone to throw an aspirin up in the air, and he shoots these aspirins, explodes them every time. So at an exhibition, someone said to him, I don't understand how you can shoot an aspirin out of the air. Yeah. And he said, I just aim for the very, very center of the, <laughs> of the aspirin. And so the guy goes, oh my God, but still, I mean, the center of an aspirin is so small, he said, the center of an aspirin is exactly the same size as the center of a barn door. Yeah. <laughs> so it's about concentration. Focus. Yeah. Yeah. LASIK. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think I'm ready for the aspirin yet. But the barn door. But you could I get go it. For. But I could hit a barn door. So focus. Yeah. Hold your. Uh, You were going a little bit more. So hold your hand a little closer to, yeah, so that, yeah, to the shelf of the, of the bow. And you were a little bit more sideways. Yeah, you can go sideways. I was a little bit yeah, like. Yeah, you can go sideways. It doesn't matter. You're looking at a spot over there. It doesn't matter what the bow is doing. You just LASIK. Ah, I, I felt, I lost it. I knew I lost it. I felt it. 
I knew before I released that that wasn't going where I wanted it to go. So, Brian, it's your left hand. Your left hand goes to the target and your eye tells the arrow where to go. Sweet, sweet, better. much better. I knew that was going right in the in the lumber yard. I I I, mean, I said it, I thought it, I saw it, and it went. So I'm going to send you now back to Ohio, flatland, and I expect you to become an archer. Okay. And I know people. Give my regards to Christina. Yes. Who will send you a field to bring <laughs> back a deer yeah. or a monkey or whatever you guys do. I just learned a lot right there. That was way, in fact, I want to do it more. I mean, you might say I'm LASIK focused. LASIK, consult your nearby <laughs> ophthalmologist <laughs> for more information on longbow shooting. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. And uh, if I don't say so myself, I don't think I did that bad. That was... <clears throat> I said it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think that was you. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. Really appreciate that. That was a great lesson. Yep. That was tons of fun. I am Flip. Amazingly, this is my YouTube channel. I'm hopeful that you'll subscribe, and I'm hopeful that you'll be a regular visitor. I'm going to try to put things there that'll keep you back.